You'll probably have seen the news. Reddit followed Twitter and is now charging a ridiculous amount of money to people to get access to its API, which means that without the API, things like third-party open source and proprietary clients are going to disappear. Some people consider leaving Reddit, but what are the alternatives? To support the channel, you can like, subscribe, donate, or leave a comment. I always hope them. Thank you. I've used the Reddit for like five years now, even before I started my channel, and I have to admit that I browse it quite often for memes, for tutorials, news, and for entertainment. You can find some really funny and interesting stuff here. And some cool things have happened to me thanks to it, like that time when my gameplay appeared in another channel or when we gathered together at r slash Linux Master Race and created the Linux Iceberg, which is my most popular video. But I use Reddit mainly on my phone, which I know is the case for many of you too. And if you've watched my channel recently, you know that I'm going down a more alternative tech rabbit hole. So I have de-googled my phone, I have switched to Linux, and I really enjoy how things are now. They're simple and it's nice not having to depend as much on big tech. I have heard that some subreddits will be going dark for some days this month to protest against this change. To access Reddit, I use the open source Infinity client. It is really good, but unless they change something to make it work without the API, this app, as most clients, will probably also stop working on July 1st. Parsing the original Reddit website to get its content without the API tends to be slower, but also it is way less reliable. Newpipe does this for YouTube and tends to break whenever there is a big YouTube update. And not all features from the API are going to be available. I don't know if you could even sign in. I could always use the Reddit app, but aside from the fact that it's absolutely proprietary, <laughs> I think it kind of sucks. Back when I had it installed, it used a lot of data uploading and playing videos or just seeing images in full screen took a lot of time. That is, if it didn't fail to do so. Another option is to use the Reddit website on mobile. This is becoming increasingly harder to do, not only because it is not as great as a native experience, but also because Reddit makes it so hard on purpose for you to use the website on mobile. They force you to use the app with annoying pop-ups, and some posts or subreddits will be locked unless you download the app. I think that the new direct messages, avatars, and that stuff are also exclusive to the app. I've heard that if you use uBlock Origin, a content blocker extension, it blocks these pop-ups in most cases, but not all mobile browsers support extensions. I do know that Firefox and the Chromium-based Kiwi browser do, but in my personal experience, Firefox on mobile sadly lacks a lot of features, so it's up to you. So, you've planned to leave Reddit altogether, Let's see the alternatives, starting with Twitter. Nah, I'm just joking, don't use that. Tumblr. Tumblr is another website that a lot of people browse. It lets you post different types of media, like text, images, videos, and links. Usually, you can find short blogs in here. You can also follow users and hashtags. In my short Tumblr trial, I did find a couple of inappropriate bots, though. <laughs> I haven't found any open source Android Tumblr client that is on FDroid, even though Slide for Reddit seems to have that functionality, but I just don't know how to activate it, I guess. Other than that, for mobile, you'll have to use their proprietary app from the Play Store or Aurora Store. The desktop Tumblr website didn't let me browse it for long without an account, though. As far as I know, Tumblr originally allowed some NSFW content, but they have changed this policy a couple of times. According to The Verge, nudity will be allowed, but explicit adult acts 
will not. And I know that a lot of you use Reddit mainly for this. <laughs> It's actually impressive how big these communities tend to be, so this could be a deal breaker for some of you. Dig is no longer an alternative to Reddit, as it's basically just the news website now. Introducing the Fediverse. The Fediverse can be a complex thing to understand, but it is basically a non-profit open network for interconnected and decentralized servers. The Fediverse has Mastodon, an open source alternative to Twitter. I've been using it since April and it's pretty cool. You can join multiple servers, some of them having a specific topic, like Fostodon.org, the one I use, mainly for open source nerdy things. But even if you choose another instance, you can see posts and interact with users of different instances. Mastodon supports a lot of platforms. You can browse your instance on their dedicated website, but you also have the official Mastodon mobile app, or Megalodon, a fork with more features for Android. In Linux, you can get Tuba, which is a live waiter client for Mastodon. If you prefer something as close as possible to Reddit, you also have Lemmy. It has communities, posts, upvotes, and downvotes. It follows the same concepts, but it is decentralized and open. I've been using it ever since the announcement, and it works really well. There are Meme, Linux, and other communities ported from Reddit. Of course, the Fediverse is not as big as popular social media, but even with the smaller size, I have seen some decent interactions, like Lemmy posts with 100 to 300 comments or so. To me, these are many, way more than the comments I usually get per 5 videos. To access Lemmy, you can use the website of your instance, but I have been using an Android client called Jerboa. It is a little bit buggy, but I think it will improve a lot. You can download it on FDroid. As for iOS users, I think you only have the website for now. I think Lemmy allows NSFW content, but not in the main Lemmy.ml instance. Actually, if you're planning on making a Lemmy account, developers suggest to not make an account on Lemmy.ml because it is overloaded due to the amount of people that migrated from Reddit. And with the new rumors about Tumblr and probably Instagram joining the Fediverse in some way, I am hopeful about its future. Change is hard for humans humans, but really thinking about it, it can be a positive change. I think Reddit has become way more divisive and toxic, something that I've never seen once in the Fediverse. Not saying it doesn't exist, but I guess people are just nicer there. In conclusion, if a company does something anti-consumer and generates a profit, expect all other companies to follow them and do the same thing. Netflix also removed support for shared accounts, and Amazon Prime and other streaming services are laughing right now, but they'll end up doing the same thing. YouTube will also very likely start blocking app blockers soon. In the description, you will find links with more information about these websites. Thank you. So so much for watching, goodbye, see you in the next one. God, I really hope this video does not get demonetized because of the comments about NSFW.